Environmental groups are taking the Obama administration to court over what they call weak safety rules for oil shipped by rail. It's a timely issue given last week's fatal Amtrak derailment. Sean Dixon, an attorney with Hudson River Keepers, says the rules issued this month don't contain enough specifics and don't address the broader issue of crude oil safety on the railways. For example, he says the Amtrak crash happened within several hundred feet of a line of tank cars. There's nothing in this rule that even attempts to address human error. With respect to early reports out of Philadelphia on the Amtrak derailment, that high speeds may have been a player. So there's a lot of ancillary issues with respect to crude safety that aren't anywhere in this rule. Dixon says a lawsuit filed last week by Earth Justice charges the administration with not doing enough to protect public safety. The American Petroleum Institute also has taken issue with the new rules and filed suit in the D.C. Circuit. Some of the petroleum and railroad industries are voluntarily taking steps to improve tank car safety. Larissa Liebman with Waterkeeper Alliance says the oil industry relies on so-called unit trains, which often link as many as 120 tank cars carrying more than 3 million tons of crude oil. Even beyond just the fact that, you know, there's explosions and fires that could happen in communities, a single spill of one tank car can mess up the water for swimming for a good amount of time, for fishing. It can cause drinking water sources to be contaminated. Nationwide, Dixon says there's been a 4,000 percent increase in the amount of crude oil shipped by rail in the past six years, and a significant share rolls through New York. Recent numbers have shown that about a quarter of all the oil produced in the Bakken fields comes through Albany. This last winter, that number got a little bit higher, so we are a pretty significant player uh, in terms of regions through which these trains are being shipped. The suit was filed in the Ninth Circuit on behalf of the Sierra Club, the Waterkeeper Alliance, and several other conservation groups. Mike Clifford, New York News Connection.